I was not expecting this. You've got mail. Yo, what's going on, everybody? I am the big guy Ryback, and today we're going to do Fan Mail Friday. And uh, so we got to release this on a Friday now because I have now limited, to, limited it to one day. Limited. Limited. And uh, I do have uh, my half gallon jug of water and a little bit of red wine, like a bottle mixed in with a bunch of water as well. This is my alcohol for the week, doing get my resveratrol and antioxidants along with my water. And um, I haven't had it yet, I haven't even had a sip. My first sip's gonna be right now. Ah, shit, I got it on the fan mail. That's no good. We got a little blue marker here. I got a drawer full of markers, Sharpies. Gold, silver, red, Green, blue, purple, but I like blue, so we're going to blue. And I'm going to just go through, I'm going to open, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of fan mail here. And we're just going to go through, guys, nonchalant, casual, and, uh, oh, this fucker really taped, look at this shit. Do you want me to fucking open it? I mean, he got every little corner on this damn thing. Look, there's a little hole. I can't get my big ass sausage fingers through the little hole. Well, this, this is risky. Now, if I try to rip it, there's a good chance I'm going to rip what's inside. The thing goes all the way to the top. That's what she said. Motherfucker, what kind of tape is this? I just clipped my nails too yesterday, damn it. This is, okay, I got it. Oh, fucker, didn't want anyone to open this, so. I'm kidding, you're not a fucker. It actually is a pen, let me read the letter. I always ask in the P.O. box if you guys want to send me fan mail or any hot stuff to do on the YouTube Ryback TV here. P.O. Box 752740, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89136. You could have it to Feed Me More LLC or to Ryback Reefs. I ask you limit it to the one to two things, and please have return postage. However many stamps that you need. I get things from China. I get things from all over. Two cards. Good job. Love it when people follow. Yes. Following instructions. This is a card of me, Dolph, and Eric Rowan. Um, well, it's just Dolph now. And uh, me doing a splash. They picked some weird fucking photos. We'll uh, see who this is from. Ah, this is a nice, typed out nice. A lot of times I can't read what's written. And it's no... Ah, it goes down smooth. Dear Ryan... Hello, Ryan. How are you? I hope all is going well. My name is Stacy. I'm writing to tell you I'm a huge fan of yours and your work and career. I really have enjoyed following your work in and out of the ring and seeing everything you have meant to the wrestling industry. And I love seeing all the success you are having doing what you love to do. You are truly an amazing talent and person, and it's always a pleasure following your work. I would be truly grateful and thankful if you would sign the photos or cards I've enclosed would honestly mean a lot to me to add them to my collection. Smiley face. I've also enclosed a couple index cards and had the idea to start a collection of sketches, doodles, or artwork from the amazing people I write to. If you, oh, this is a good one. If you would take the time to add a sketch, doodle, or artwork, one, I would be tr so truly appreciative. Here's the cards. I didn't even see those. This is turning out to be, a, I was not expecting this. I've never had anyone ask me to draw something. What the fuck am I gonna draw? Okay. Thank you much so, so, so much for your time and effort, Ryan, and I wish you continued success and an amazing 2020. Thanks again, Stacy Schaefer. Um, thank you very much, Stacy. And uh, 
let me go ahead and just sign these cards real quick. So what I got to do, guys, is we got two little signatures there. And we're going to go ahead and you're a hell of a taper, Stacy. Hell of a taper. Put those cards back in. Holy fuck, what am I going to draw? Because no one's ever asked me. I'm a horrible draw. I'm a horrible drawer. I'm not an artist. I'm on YouTube. I have to draw a fucking picture on YouTube because she asked in the letter. Stay with me, guys. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. I don't know how old Stacy is, so I got to keep this PG. Fuck, really wanted to draw a dick. This is my drawing. Sophie, little guy. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and sign this too. The big guy. She asked for it. What am I gonna? This is my life right now. We'll go ahead and put that in there. We're gonna get to. I hope I don't get coronavirus licking these letters. Fuck, too late. All right, one letter down. I go get fan mail every week. Some weeks there's a lot. Some weeks there's just a few things. But it's four years I've been off TV, and every week there's always letter in my mailbox. I think I did a video before, but I never really just made a video about fan mail. I was like, why not? We'll do a little intro. Oh, you fucker, you put three cards. Whoa, I haven't seen this one before. Me shell-shocking Camacho. Slam Attacks Rebellion. I've seen that one a lot. Motherfucker. They put a I hate I hated they did this. They called it NXT call-up card. They put Ryback, because I was already I, I'm fucking pissed they put a Skip Sheffield card out as Ryback. I don't mind the Skip Sheffield card to Skip Sheffield. Two entirely, man. From Norman, dear Mr. Reeves, my name is Norman and I'm a great fan of you. I would be very happy if you could sign the enclosed cards for me. I said two, you put three. Could you please write my name? Oh, fuck. Sure. Could you please write my name on one of them? I would be very pleased if you could fulfill my wishes. Many thanks in advance for your kindness. I wish you all the best for your future. Hope to see you on TV soon. Your fan, Norman. Thank you very much, Norman. Fucking three cards and yes for a name. Well, I'm going to put my name on. Let me sign this shitty Skip Sheffield card is right back. This card here. All right. Two. Norman. N-O-R-M. I don't want to misspell it. E-N. Right. Fuck, Norman, would you want a $100 bill in there too? Shit! I'm just kidding. Just kidding, Norman. Yeah, I know you're a good guy. Go ahead, put these on in. Two duck. Letters over there. Trash over here. All right, ladder number three. Take doing fan mail takes time, guys. Like, I legit, like, especially the first, like, two years I left, holy hell. People will never know. If you got stuff from me, you know, but you'll never know the man. I would dedicate some hours to that shit. And, like, it, it's all, like, I love it. It's good. It's a way to give back for free to people that like you. And, um, 
All right. Blue Sharpie, please. Literally has blue Sharpie, please. Well, it's your lucky fucking day. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I've never seen demands like this. These are, that's the first time. First time we got two cards here. We'll go ahead and knock the signings out on these. A lot of demands on these cards here, but he did stay within the two card rule. Very happy about that. Letter dear Mr. Ryback. You're goddamn right, Mr. Ryback. Hello, sir. Hope you don't mind signing my cards, please. Not at all. I would like to add them to the rookie collection I'm putting together with my 12-year-old son. That's very nice, actually. Very, very in favor of that. His 12-year-old son, Jacob. Hope all is well and wish you the best in the future. Thank you for your time and hope to hear from you soon. We heard from you here on YouTube. <laughs> All right, good deal. I like father-son activities. Big guy can bring a little joy to a father and son. I'm all for that. Oh, shit. Stupid! It's fucking appeal that I fucking licked. Who's texting me? Ah, Jennifer. Moving on. You guys know Jen if you've watched YouTube. <sighs> Gotta hurry and get this over so I can message Jen back. Oh, uh, let's see. What do we got here? Trash. Uh, Jonathan. Ryan Reeves. My name is fucking Ryback. I legally changed it. Hi, my name is Jonathan. I didn't know that. I joke around, guys. We got to make these videos entertaining. I'm a huge fan of yours. I was wondering if I could get an autograph from the big guy. I've enclosed a couple cards for you to sign, please. Let's just see if you've enclosed a couple cards here. One. Good card of me. Two. Three, I love you, Jonathan, but this is a fucking few. And I'll sign all of them for you. God, look at those meaty legs on the big guy. Nobody has legs that big in wrestling. All right, and I guess he has a card to keep the cards from not bending. We'll go ahead and just... Three signed cards coming on up, Jonathan. Thank you very much, my man. Done. Bum, bum, bum. Trash. Whew, got to stay hydrated during this fan mail. Moving on, who do we got here? Uh, the Monroe Boys. Oh, this feels thick in the middle. They definitely didn't stick to the one to two card rule. But that is per person also. So. Whoa. Well, this is pretty. Holy shit, that's a lot of boys. And a girl, daughter. Hold on. Dear Ryback, my boys and I are huge wrestling fans. We're trying to collect autographs from our favorite wrestlers and hope you can help. We offer a trade. We'll give you five autographs from some future superstars. See reverse side in exchange for your signature on the enclosed. Also, we appreciate any advice you might offer to help the boys achieve their dreams of becoming professional wrestlers. Thanks for your time and consideration. Hopefully the Monroe, uh, hopefully the Monroe boys, Mariano, 15 year old, years old, Marcel, 14, Miles 12, Michael 10, Andrew is the dad, I believe, also pictured, Man, Manai, Manai, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, eight years old, M-A-N-A-U-I, Manai, I think it's Manai, or Munai, although she has very little interest in wrestling, she may be the best off the, of the bunch because she has to hold her own against her brothers. And this is the family. Very, very cool. I like to see this. 
by advice to not just becoming professional wrestlers, but for success in life is to learn about the power of a positive mindset, a positive mental attitude in realizing that everything that happens in life is for our benefit if we choose to keep an optimistic mindset um, and learning, learning about success, about not even just like the law of attraction, but positive thinking, um, learning a great book, I think, and even for young kids. And I tell people the magic formula um, for life. And this now doesn't necessarily apply to anything else other than success in life, even though I do think it applies to happiness as well. I think two books, very opposite ends of the spectrum. The Secret is a very, very great, great basic book on the law of attraction and positive thinking and, and thinking our thoughts and our, our, how powerful our thoughts, thoughts are. And 10X by Grant Cardone, the 10X rule, which is very work ethic based on uh, applying 10 times the effort to anything uh, for, for maximum success. And I think if you can apply those two things together, I think you can do anything you want to do in life. Now, there's a whole bunch of other stuff in there, um, but keeping a positive mental attitude, I think, is something that can carry you uh, very far in life, uh, especially when you start backing it up with a work ethic. So, confidence, confidence, believe in yourself. And you know how you get confidence? By doing the work. The more you prepare, the more you educate yourself, the more you read and educate and learn, the more confidence you have. The more confidence you have, the more that you trust yourself to do the work. It all plays together. And you won't just be successful in pro wrestling. You'll be successful in anything that you choose to do if you can keep those principles in hand. We got some cards here. These three, we got two, a lot of the same ones and a new one here. We'll go ahead and sign these. A little autograph from the big guy. You guys, you guys look like a great bunch, though. Look like you look like well-behaved kids. I gotta say, so I'm, I would say you have some decent parents, some very good parents. I would even say, and I appreciate you guys sending me a family letter. That is beyond touching to me. I love to see stuff like this. So we'll go ahead and get their three cards. They put a little thing here to. I got a marker on my hand like this is my first autograph signing. Real rookie over here. Teach your kids, though, and you guys, and this is for everyone. Um, it's our duty and our obligation to want to be successful. And not for greed or for evil, but because with the way the world is set up, it, it, and I tell people, I look at it like this. The world is a really screwed up place. And it's up to us to learn as much as we can. And we want to have control. Especially because there's a lot of bad people out there. A lot of bad people with a lot of money. And you look at it just from a very basic... Like if you want to be able to take care of your family. And there's an emergency. If you can't financially take care of them. Then it's, it's a very helpless feeling. But if you hustle and, and work really hard. And... and are able to make money and do things. And no matter what it is that you do, um, it allows you more freedom, you know. And then if your parents need help someday and, you know, you don't want them living in a nursing home and not being cared for as well as they could, and you can hire a nanny to live in your house and take care of them if you have to. And that's just a random situation. Your dog has seven ruptured discs in a two-year period and nobody... No dog has really had that happen, and they it could financially be a lot of money. But if you work really hard and, and do things, maybe you can keep your dog alive, and then she's happier than ever after it randomly just disappears. That's a real-life situation. So I think not being afraid of success, and because even though there's some bad people out there, it gives you a lot of power if you do it the right way to take care of those that you love. And I think that's a very important thing because I, I learned that lesson at a very young age and which is why I am the way that I am.
for things because I, I don't like not having control. And I think that's a very important lesson to, to not be afraid to go for massive success because of all the good that can be achieved with it. And the more money that you make, the more people that you could help. Because there's a lot of people you could donate more. Having my own business, I give money to feeding the, the homeless and those in need in Vegas every month. If I decided not to, to if I wanted just to, to not be my best, I couldn't do that. They would, or I wouldn't be able to give nearly as much. So, uh-oh, this is a, uh, no, just a letter. Happens sometimes. Ah, I can't read this. I'm sorry, Kathy. Thank you very much, Kathy, for writing in. It's a little difficult to read. We will move on. Let's see. Where are we at? 22. Oh, wow. A couple cool cards. These are nice cards here. Wow, look, look at this one on the back. Intensity and size. It's all about intensity and size. That's what she said. Get these cards out. These are nice card holders too. We got one more piece after this, guys. One more piece after this. Stay with me. Stay with me. Get these signed here. Da, 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 da. Damn light, it's starting. I know it's getting hot in Vegas. I feel like breaking. I just showered a little bit ago. I took a hot shower. I think two showers a day is perfect. Morning and night. I feel I sleep so much better. Otherwise, I wash my face at night if I don't. from Because I work out if I sweat really bad. But I always feel better when I shower at night before I go to bed. It's just a much better feeling. Mr. Reeves. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. Good, I hope. Yes. I am a big fan of yours. Feed me more. <laughs> That's my catchphrase. I liked it when you were with Nexus, beating down everyone. It's because I'm a fucking badass. I like your 38-match winning streak. I didn't even know I had a 38-match winning streak. Legit, I don't keep track of any of this. Uh, but thank you. Um, would you please sign my cards? Absolutely. Please and thank you. God bless and have a good week. Feed me more. Your fan, Joe. I'm assuming this is from Joe Henning. He's always sending me fan mail. Curtis Axel, for those that don't know. Mark shit. All right, get those in. A little couple autographs for the for the X Man. Get those. Fuck. Won't stay open. Damn fucking blast of these big ass hands. It's a blessing and a curse. You guys know when you get fan mail back from the big guy, I'm the one doing it. Licking your letters and all. Put that over there. Last one, the biggest one for the last. I don't know what this is. Oh, wow, they sent their own marker, too. Holy shit. I always like it when they send me a marker because I get a new marker. Ah. I itch. That was very Neanderthal of me. Mm, I itch. Mm. Oh, I barely reach. I'm so big. Fucking jacked. Um, let's see what we got here. Hi there. My name is Corey Bastion Booger. And I've been a fan of wrestling since I was a kid. I've been working on some sets of wrestling cards and was hoping I can get these signed. If preferred, I'm happy to pay any reasonable fee ooh, via PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App. My email is, and my cell phone too. Please feel free to contact me if any payment is required. And you're welcome to keep the pen, as I think it looks phenomenal on the cards. Thank you for your time, Corey Bastion. What a 
valuable fucking opportunity to make money here. Well, I mean, he does have two cards. And a marker. Let me sign these first and think about this. Well, he wasn't lying. These are fucking phenomenal fucking marker. Fuck, I'm going to put Feed Me More on these ones, too. Markers are getting me high over here. Fuck, I gotta let these dry. That's gonna take forever to dry. Hmm. You guys tell me. Two pictures signed on Ryback TV on YouTube. Red is fan mail. 5,000 easy, I think, is fair. I mean, this really took a lot of effort. Fuck. Uh, fuck it. You can do it. It's free. It's fucking free. Lucky I'm drinking red wine. Otherwise, I would have fucking sent you a message on and an email and a PayPal request for 5K. You're lucky. You're lucky night. Fan mail Friday with the big guy. Let's see. I don't want to smear this shit. You don't want him to get a card smeared back. Then he did think I'm a real piece of shit. All right. <clears throat> All right, we'll drop these in. 5,000 for free. Damn, fan mail. Done! Get the mail. I'll drop these off in the mailbox tomorrow. And um, these are all going out for all of you guys. Thank you guys for the fan mail. Dells, if we could put up a little thing here maybe at the end. Uh, Ryback Reeves. P.O. Box 752740, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89136. For all fan mail, guys, please limit it to, to one to two pieces of, of fan mail and with a return postage. And I always get the stuff back to you guys as a thank you for your love and support. And uh, and it's just something I've done since I've left and that I will continue to do for the rest of my life. So it's uh, I think it's just a nice thing to do to give back to people. Um, especially if you don't have money or anything and you're allowed to send me stuff, especially when I was doing autograph signings and whatnot. So there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe. Love you guys very much. Get hungry, stay hungry. Feed me more. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid. Why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. Ah, new customers, you can save 20% with discount code NEWCUSTOMER on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.